Okay, Doki, here we go. Um, what we have here is we're going to go through another trigger understanding in 1.1. 1. 1. Okay, and in this trigger understanding, it's very similar to the last one. We're going to check out displays. We're going to use create associations um, and also use a two-way table to help us determine if there is an association between two different verticals. Okay, so here we go. Without further ado, let's look at the following graph. Um, a national news organization explains why the graph may be misleading and sketch corrective vision of the graph. Well, if you want to do this right here, you can check this in out. But we have southwest border apprehensions, okay? And what we have right there is you see that there appears to be a huge differential between each one of these values from 2011, 2012, and 2013. But you realize, like in our previous problems, that one of the key things whenever you deal with the bar graph is it needs to have a scale that starts at zero, all right? Bar graph, graph, um, scale should start at zero because that makes it a little bit misleading. So in order to fix this, we're going to do the years 2011. 2012 and 2013 and we're going to start at year zero and maybe we'll go like by 50 thousands all right so it's going to be a hundred thousand all right i'm just going to say thousand over here just so we know because it's a little bit easier for me to write all right so we'll go 50 100 150 and then we'll have 200 up here and we'll go right here and just hit this in thousands all right, apprehensions. And from here, we have 16, so 165. So that's probably going to be roughly about maybe right there. Um, we'll go 170, 170, okay, is run, probably roughly about right there. Oops, he's moving over a little bit. Yeah, so 170, probably about right there. Just a little bit higher, but not too much make sure my widths are pretty much the same and this is going to be 190 so 190 is going to be right about just below 200 and so we'll go like that and as you can see um there appears to be very few difference between 111 and 112 dates and right here um there is a slight increase um at 2013 um but not as large as they see right there on both these different graphs. So that's what we're looking at there. All right, well, let's continue on and look at our two-way table. And we're in our two-way table, it says real estate agents collecting data from the number of houses built in a town, three neighborhoods during the three different decades. So three different decades, three different neighborhoods and how they were built. Okay, so we have our margins right here. Okay, we have frequency in our margins. So these are called frequencies, once again, because those are counts. Frequencies are counts. And these are in the margins because they are right there, okay, because they're in the margins of our two-way table. So what proportion of houses shown were built in Pinewood Estates? So Pinewood Estates, so what proportion, we look over here, it's going to be 60 divided by 220, 220. Now I added in the margins, and sometimes you'll have to do that as well. But we go 60 divided by 220, and we have about... 27 percent all right i said well we put 0.27 because the proportion is it's going to be number not a percent all right and that's what we have there for pine one states what percent of homes now when we talk about percent we are talking about relative frequency all right of homes were built in oak crest and in 1960. now since we have an end this is known as a joint relative frequency we're looking for here and this was known as a margin, all right, frequency, or marginal proportion. We're looking there. So in here, we're looking for an end. So Oak Crest, end in 1960. So we're looking at 60 um, of old homes built then. So it would be 60 divided by 220. And we can see that's going to equal approximately about the same percent as we had above. So Oak Crest, end in 1960, is going to be 60 divided by 220. 
Now it says, find the distribution of decades built for the houses in this town using relative frequency. Okay, find the distribution of decade, decade built. All right. So the distribution of decades built is we're looking for the relative marginal frequency um, of each decade. Okay, so in here we can go 1960. Um, and that, we keep on forgetting the nine. All right, 1960, 1970, and 1980s. All right, so 1960s, 1970s, all right, and 1980s. Okay, so. And we're looking for this, is we're looking for a relative frequency, okay, of each one of these decades. So in here we can go 1960 is going to be 100 divided by 220. And over here, 1970s, we're going to go 90 divided by 220. And then over here in the 1980s, we have 15 divided by 220. And you can see what that relative frequency is. We're going to figure that out. If you take 100 divided by 220, we're going to have approximately about 45%. All right, 45%. If you take this right here, 90 divided by 220, we're going to have about 41%. 41% of the houses were built then. And then over here, 15 divided by 220, we can see that we have about only 7%, all right, about 7% of those houses are going to be built, okay? So that is what we see as a distribution, all right, distribution of relative frequencies during the decades. Now, is there an association between the number of houses built in this town and the decade built? Well, looking at this, if this is our explanatory variable, okay, explanatory variable, okay, variable and this is our response variable is the number of houses built all right response is the number of houses built okay is that you probably do see association there is an association because it appears that um there as the early decades all right there were larger number of houses built greater percentage of houses were built um, compared to all these, all right, um, than the later decades, okay, 1980. So um, there is an association. And when we say this, all right, let's go and write this. I'll write it in red. Um, is there an association? There appears to be an association. Association, right? Association between between all right um, decades and um, houses built. I'll move this down a little bit. And what is that association? Um, there was a greater number of houses built in 1960 and 1970 compared to 1980, okay? So there was a greater number of houses built in 1960, 1970 compared to 1980. Um, you can see that by the percentage um, and, and the number, and you can also add if you want to, the number of houses built decreased Increased um, as the uh, decades decades increased. If you want to say that, you could also say that as well. All right, but there appears to be some sort of association between yes, the decades are explanatory variable, and if we said the response variable was the number of houses built.
and that's moving on. Uh, so uh, with that, I hope this uh, helps you out in how to draw a correct bar graphs and what you're looking for. Um, also, how to use a two-way table and identifying some information and specifically what is the difference between frequency and relative frequency. Hopefully, you know what marginal um, proportion are and joint relative frequency or joint proportions would be as well. And also a little bit better understanding of association. All right, how do you determine if there's an association when there is a difference between the percentages um, of the different uh, bars that you are uh, looking at? Okay, well, um, or percentage that you're looking at. Well, I hope this helps you out. And once again, good luck and God bless in the rest of your problems.